Hi, welcome back to Mr. G's lab uh, on lab safety and lab protocol procedures. Uh, at, there are going to be from 12 to 21 stations. This will be station 12. Uh, next to each one is a red X, and that indicates things that normally should not be done. Actually, never should be done. This would be a perfect example. Here we have heavy. And Heavy uh, is not really paying attention to much of anything today because he's stirring a beaker, which he doesn't know because there's no label. He doesn't know what's in it. It could be water, it could be acid, it could be many, many other things. Uh, but he's stirring it with his finger. That's what this uh, chemical stirrer, this glass rod, would be for. Heavy is also not paying attention. He's looking at something else. Looks like Mr. Dr. Brinkelhoff. And uh, he's also not wearing his eye goggles. And he also wore his uh, ammo vest in. Um, ammo is not uh, allowed in the lab at all. Actually, it's not allowed in the school. So, yeah. Heavy's not doing well today. So... Don't follow what Heavy did. Over here, at stage at area 14, uh, at area 14, we have another red X, and we have Scout uh, not paying attention. And uh, actually, he's doing a lot of things. He's eating pizza, lovely pizza. It may look delicious, but not in a lab. He has a can of pop, and he's not paying attention because he's paying attention to the pizza because it's so good. And unfortunately, he grabbed the beaker of probably acid. That's not going to go down well with the pizza. Um, if he lives. Uh, Scout also has a headset in, and uh, so that's not allowed. There are no uh, headsets or headphones allowed in the lab. And he's also, ha um, his eyes are not covered, but he is wearing his safety goggles on his forehead. So his forehead is perfectly covered, but we need to be focusing on the eyes. He is also wearing a satchel uh, that belongs over there, way over there at the personal items uh, shelf that you saw in video one. So, lab safety video one. So yeah, Scout is not doing well either. At If you notice, there are cabinets along the walls. There's chemical storage cabinets all along as well as uh, equipment storage cabinets. This cabinet is open for now. Uh, oftentimes it will be closed, but because you're going to be doing a lab, it's, it's left open. So um, uh, you're only allowed in these labs with teacher permission. I'm sorry, in these cabinets with teacher permission. Same thing with chemical storage, which most teachers are not going to give you permission to go in the chemical storage because um, that's what they're supposed to be doing. So, um, we are done with that. We have, uh, in, in area 15, we have a first aid kit, which it looks like Scout and, uh, and uh, Heavy will be needing very, very shortly. And uh, the first aid kit is to help people who are injured um, be repaired. Oh, the other thing I forgot about Scout, he is wearing taped uh, hands. Not allowed to be doing any sort of lab work with taped hands or gloves on. Uh, unless they're chemical gloves that are specifically designed to prevent uh, 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 damage to your skin or body um, for, for safety reasons. A safety shower dumps about 300 gallons um, of water per minute. That is about two and a half bathtubs full of water dumped on you in one minute. Um, it's there in case you spill or uh, drink uh, acid. I don't know how the drinking is going to help and whatever, but, uh, but it's there if you spill acid on yourself or if you burn yourself and there's a pull chain nearby that you pull and dump a lot of water on. We have an eye wash in case you get being like uh, uh, scout or heavy, not wearing your eye goggles and you get acid in your eyes, you can uh, run over or have someone pull you over and whatever and stick your head in, 
or stick your face in the eye wash and hopefully it will remove a lot of the uh, the acid that would be in your eyes the gas main sh uh, shut off is uh, is only to be turned on by your teacher no one else maybe a fireman would be fine too but not a student not anyone only your teacher because this is what will happen if we uh, if you use it um uh with uh with with without your teacher's permission think yeah there we go mm, nope. this is what happens back with your if you have uh turned your uh so turn the um fire main, uh, the, 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 the main gas mains on, and uh, fire starts. And uh, hopefully we can uh, stop it, but uh, we will see. Let's go see if we can turn that main thing back off and uh, prevent any further fires from happening. So... Well, it took us a little bit of a while to uh, get the fire out, but what can happen is a lot of times these valves are not fully turned off, and if you, the main valve is turned on without checking all these valves, what can happen is that uh, gas can leak out and a fire can spontaneously start. So fortunately, no one was hurt. At, um, at, uh, do, 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 at station seven, or at area 17, we have the chemical hood, and the chemical hood has um, uh, a Bunsen burners, uh, gas valves that we can hook up. It also uh, has chemicals that are open and uh, graduated cylinders or other labware. And a lot of times, it's used to um, uh, used to um, uh, exhaust gases or remove gases from chemicals or that that are chemical mixtures or chemical experiments that a lot of gases would be would be uh, used uh, or produced and uh, it, it it we need this hood this chemical hood to remove that uh, or many of us will get sick from the from the fumes so um, I'm gonna turn off the light and the uh, in the chemical hood, and we're going to go past our lovely skeleton. Just ignore him. He's he's kind of you know not paying attention anyway. Station 18, we have, and it looks like we're running out of time with this particular video. So we're going to continue on to lab safety video three. So um, click on the link below, and uh, we'll um, we'll see you in the next. Uh, We'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, and create a great day.